Hi, it's Mary Jane here from Home for the Harvest. Uh, this is my YouTube gardening channel and today I'm planting peonies in the spring. Um, it's April here and it's maybe not the best time of year to, to transplant peonies. I think I would prefer to do it in fall, but spring is the best time to shop for them. There are so many beautiful peonies um, for sale right now online and in the local garden centers. Um, so, um, spring tends to be when I plant my peonies. Um, they come in two different ways in spring. Um, mostly they come potted up like this in potting soil and they've already kind of leafed out. Um, by April. You can see my existing peonies in my garden are at like a, a similar stage, maybe a, maybe a little bit behind, but um, yeah, so it looks mostly like the ones that are already here. Um, the other way you can buy them in the springtime is the same as in the fall, is when they come bare root. Um, and it'll usually be in like a plastic bag with a little label and they'll say bare root peony. Um, so this is the other way you can buy them in spring. This one, you can see, I bought it. It was the last one, of course, of the kind. Um, and it's already started to come out of dormancy in the bag. So maybe again, not maybe the greatest. Um, clearly it's going to be stunted this year. Um, so I'll consider this year zero, not year one, not growing year one. I think, um, I like to think of year one as the first year of flowers. So, um, this is a... This is for future years. <laughs> Whereas this one, I might actually get one bloom, maybe a few little blooms um, out of it. So, planting um, the bare root ones. You can see where the where the new growth, the above growth stems, which are coming out of the bag in like a funny direction. Um, you want them to be at like a good inch below the surface level, but you don't want them to be lower than two inches. Um, if the peony is planted too deep, um, it can kind of restrict its blooming. Uh, yeah, you still get pretty leaves and stuff, but it's really all about the flowers. So you really want to make sure it's kind of between one and two inches, no deeper than two inches. And you can mulch it in the fall if you're worried about the cold, um, but they're really cold hardy. Um, these guys? Just make sure that the line of the soil in the plant, like the, the, the soil as is, is lined up with the soil level that you have. And then you can just mulch the whole thing. Um, I like to get everything all lined up, all planted, all at the right level. Then water, make sure everything is, nothing settled weirdly, uh, and then mulch. Uh, I use homemade compost, um, but you can use whatever kind of organic mulch that you like. So let's get going. So I'm trying to make a hole that's just as deep as the pot or the soil level in the pot, but no deeper. Um, but but maybe a couple times wider than the pot. Obviously, I have a square pot and I'm making a round hole. This is a uh, Sarah Bernhardt, which is a, a nice, beautiful, soft pink double peony. Um, really common, easy to find, and really beautiful. The classic pink peony. Okay, so the soil level is the same. Soil in my garden, soil in the, in the plant. I'm gonna gently backfill. Okay, and so I'll come along later and I'll mulch this guy um, after I water the garden. Okay, now on to the bare root peony. 
So um, the first thing really before you plant it is yeah to check out the crown. Um, so peonies have roots that are below ground and the stems that are above ground. Um, and kind of where the two meet is referred to as the crown. Uh, and it kind of does look like a crown. You can see how the stems are coming up out of the root. Um, so that's the spot that we want to be between one and two inches um, below the soil line. And we are gonna mulch the whole thing, um, but it's a loose organic mulch. And I'm not gonna like put four inches of it or on anything. I'll put like maybe an inch of nice homemade compost. Um, so I feel good about that. So, I think I was going to plant it there. So bare roots can be a little finicky because they're always funny shapes. Okay, so I like to hold it while I backfill so that it stays in the right orientation. We are soil even. And there we go, it's about an inch. Um, I'm just gonna maybe give it a tiny bit more and then I am gonna come back and mulch with, with compost. After I give this whole area a lot, a nice deep watering. So you can see it's kind of sad little stems are just barely sticking out um, so yeah this is not going to be this peony's year um, but a uh, year or two from now I'm really excited to see how this one looks uh, so yeah if this channel is all about gardening and um, I love peonies roses and I do um, veggies especially tomatoes obviously and uh, yeah so Click the subscribe button if this is the kind of videos you like and then YouTube will know uh, to tell you or to suggest more of these videos for you. Thanks so much. Bye.